The garbage pile up at Mount Everest has been a huge concern for a few years now. From used oxygen bottles, torn tents, ropes, broken ladders, cans to plastic wrappers discarded by climbers and trekkers. A huge amount of trash litters the 8,848.86 meter tall peak and the surrounding areas. In a bid to clean up these eco-sensitive areas, the trash collected from Mount Everest is set to be transformed into art and displayed in a nearby gallery to highlight the need to save the world's tallest mountain from turning into a dumping site. Foreign and local artists will be engaged in creating artwork from waste materials and train locals to turn trash into treasure. They're going to be thinking of other body tourism pony bitros at the same time waste pony managed house plus young generation are lapani they are only the encourage millers pony with the ship now. The initiative is being run by Sagar Mata Next Center, a visitors information center and waste upcycling facility. The center is located at an altitude of 3,780 meters at Siangbok on the main trail to the Everest base camp. Products and artwork will be displayed to raise environmental awareness or sold as souvenirs with proceeds going to conservation of the region. Trash brought down is handled and segregated by a local environmental group, the Sagar Mata Pollution Control Committee, but the task in a remote region that has no roads is a huge challenge. Garbage is dumped or burnt in open pits, causing air and water pollution as well as contamination of soil. Under a Carry Me Back initiative, each returning tourist and guide will be requested to take a bag containing 1 kg of garbage back to the Lukla airport from where the trash will be airlifted to Kathmandu. In 2019, an estimated 80,000 trekkers, climbers and guides visited the area. Everest was first climbed by New Zealander Sir Edmund Hillary and Sherpa Tenzing Nogay in 1953. Nearly 4,000 people have since made 6,553 ascents from the Nepali side of the mountain, which can also be climbed from the Tibetan side. The Federal News Report